Hello and welcome to the Vegan Corner. Do you like curries? I hope you do, because that's what we are going to prepare here today. The issues we find with many popular curries is that they require spices that are not necessarily easy to find all over the globe. However, very interesting curries can also be created using ingredients that aren't that difficult to find, which is exactly the goal of this recipe. To begin with, let's do some chopping, which happens to be absolutely the most popular task when it comes to our recipes. Start by cutting a few slices of fresh chili. If you don't like fiery food, don't be too generous, but if you do like the kind of pleasure that comes from biting into something that resembles lava, I'm sure you know how much chili to add. Next, simply cut the okra into pieces, and dice the onions and the zucchini into pieces of a similar size to the okra. Believe it or not, we are now ready to move on to the cooking process. Place your favorite pan over a medium heat and pour in the oil and the mustard seeds. The oil is only needed to toast the seeds, so it can be easily omitted and replaced with some water or stock to obtain an oil-free curry, up to you to decide. The seeds can also be dry roasted in a pan without using any oil. If you do decide to use the oil, gently fry the seeds until they start popping, which is the clear sign that they have been toasted to perfection. At this point, add in the chili and the onions and cook them for about 3 minutes, or until the onions have softened a bit. If you are using water, feel free to add it in as needed during the cooking process. Once the onions are cooked, you can tip in the okra, the zucchini, the lentils and the water from the recipe before stirring everything together and bringing to the boil. Some substitutions for these ingredients can be found in the description. Now, grate in the fresh turmeric, stir once again, turn the heat down to the minimum and cover the pan with a lid. Cook the curry for 30 minutes over the lowest heat, so that it just simmers for the duration of the cooking time. Once the time has elapsed, remove the lid and give the ingredients a good stir. If the curry is already looking to have a perfect consistency, you simply have to add in the fresh coriander and adjust salt to taste if desired. But if for some reason your curry is still a bit too watery for your personal taste, fear not. Simply cook it for another 5 minutes without the lid and it will soon become perfect. I can personally vouch for that. And here is the final okra and lentil curry. Doesn't it look just delicious? For some reason that I can't really grasp at the moment, I refuse to acknowledge the presence of the zucchini in this dish, which is why there is no zucchini in the name. Oh well, I'll try to be kind with that vegetable next time, as I don't want it to feel shunned. If you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before moving on, and subscribe if you haven't already. Many thanks for watching and on to the next video!